so today we are going to start one more new chapter called forex derivatives forex derivatives first of all you should understand what is this meaning forex is nothing but foreign currency derivatives it is a very very inno innovative word and very very important word to be understand today what is a derivative see derivative the word itself indicates that the value is derived value is derived so derivatives is nothing but frankly speaking in this session derivatives is a contracts derivatives is a contracts it means frankly speaking it is an agreement between the two parties why the people will come to the contracts because to protect themselves from any any defensive or any risk any risk or any defensive so here derivatives are contracts used to expose changes in foreign exchange used to expose in changes in or foreign exchange so derivatives are contracts used to expose or restrict changes in foreign exchange or frankly speaking derivatives gives a, a shelter against a stop risk see what this uh, again a stop risk somewhat you, if you go with one more line i will brief up derivatives is a financial instrument understand it is a financial instrument whose value is derived this financial instrument value derived from the value of other assets value of other assets which is known as underlying asset which is known as underlying asset when the price of underlying asset changes the value of derivatives also changes so from the given direct point of view i will explain now here suppose let us take uh, kisan let us take kisan do you know kisan company which produces tomato chips tomato uh, what is that uh, tomato liquid tomato liquid it produces tomato kisan uh, kisan is nothing but uh, tomato so, so what is it say it is a soup a uh, tomato ketchup tomato ketchup actually right word tomato ketchup it produces it is a company kisan company okay here there is a farmer here is a farmer right here that what is the deal here to make you better understanding of this theoretical part what i am explain here if you understand this case uh, it, it would be better for you a company kisan produces tomato ketchup tomato ketchup it produces but uh, this need a product produced by the farmer so here farmer produces tomatoes and uh, this kisan company produces tomato ketchup now the fact is farmer of the company he is thinking one mode and uh, uh, kisan company director also thinking another mode what i thinking means at present 1 kg tomatoes are approximately 50 rupees 1 kg tomato is approximately 50 rupees now what is thinking that after 4 months after 4 months he is thinking that this tomato price may go to 80 rupees 80 rupees so here there is a risk to this person it means that now at present he is don't have any risk but in future he is he is thinking that oh my god in future the tomato price may goes for 80 in this case the kisan company has a risk element because 50 rupees of tomato he is supposed to buy at 80 rupees but whereas from the side of company the farmer that the person who is producing now he is thinking that after 4 months the value is going to come to 20 rupees so here he is also have a risk expecting that the value of this tomato is going to come down and here the value of company may expect the increase so both the people has a risk both the people have a risk now i said that derivatives gives a shelter against of risk risk means whose party risk risk means both the parties risk element now what they do means this both the people come to an agreement now i just i said that it is a contract or it is a agreement it is a agreement this both the parties will come to in such a way that this company may take an agreement with this people that at the end of fourth month i supposed to buy the tomatoes at 60 rupees 